In this video, we'll talk about the solubility of air in water. So air is soluble in water. So here we have H2O, a bunch of water. The red is the oxygen, white are the hydrogens. And then here we have air, which is about 78% nitrogen, the N2, about 21% oxygen O2, and then some other gases like carbon dioxide and argon. So for the air to dissolve in the water, if we could shake this up and get the air bubbles in the water, they would dissolve. We'd have some dissolved air. The other way is if we just had the water sitting out, these molecules could diffuse right into our H2O here. Let's see how that would happen. So you can imagine that these molecules, they're all moving, rotating, and spinning. And after some time, the nitrogen molecules, they just randomly kind of work their way into the water. We'd say at that point, they're dissolved. Conversely, some of them, they could work their way out of the water too. There'd be this equilibrium set up, but we would have nitrogen molecules and oxygen molecules dissolved in the water. But if we increase the temperature, that would cause many of them to kind of be pushed out. Let's take a look at a model of that. So let's add some nitrogen molecules and then some oxygen molecules. And let's imagine these are dissolved in water. So we need to put a bunch of water molecules here. There we go. So watch what happens. So right now, nothing's happened. This is just a static picture. Really, they'd be moving around, like we said before. So here they're moving around. And you can see those little green lines that we keep seeing between the water molecules. Those are hydrogen bonds. Water's kind of sticky to itself. It's a polar molecule, so it kind of sticks together. We do have oxygen and nitrogen dissolved in the water right now. But if we increase the temperature, these oxygen and nitrogen molecules don't stick as well. Watch what happens. So we're increasing the temperature and you can see these nitrogen molecules and some of the oxygen molecules, they're no longer in the water. We're in a closed box, so they can't go far, but they get pushed out, many of them, when we increase the temperature. So as we increase the temperature, a gas like oxygen or nitrogen or air, the mixture of oxygen and nitrogen, is forced out. Let's take a look at a graph of that. So on our graph, temperature, as we go in this direction, temperature is increasing. And when we go up, the amount of gas dissolved increases. So this is our solubility here. We can see we have O2. That's the green here. So here's our O2. And we have N2. That is the yellow. And you can see for both of them, as we increase the temperature this way, the solubility, it decreases. So just like we saw in the model, increasing the temperature means the solubility of gases decreases. For fish and other aquatic creatures, that's important because as the temperature increases and the oxygen goes down, that can be a bit of a problem. So to recap, air does dissolve in water. It's made up primarily of nitrogen and oxygen. And as the temperature increases, the amount of gas dissolved decreases. This is the opposite of what we see for ionic compounds like salts. This is Dr. B with the solubility of air and water. Thanks for watching.